And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Intrepid Scavenger. That's right, we got a new deck today. We're doing like an Allegiance themed day where we are playing all, all of the different Allegiance cards, except for Vanguard Bannerman, because you know we play a lot of Demacia and Vanguard Bannerman, so we don't really need to do that one. Um, but we're doing all of the other ones. Now we are at Piltover, whoa, Piltover and Zahn, where our Allegiance card is Sump Snipe Scavenger. So with this having Allegiance, you create a Sumpworks map in hand. It costs zero this round. So uh, that will allow us to grant an ally elusive. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing there. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going to pair that card with, uh, pairing that with Intrepid Mariner, where Intrepid Mariner has support, give your supported ally elusive this round. So if we, if we have the, if we do the scavenger and we get the map, what we can do is we can give the map to the Mariner and so that then the Mariner has elusive itself and then it can attack and grant something else elusive. So, you know, basically you don't have to worry about, you know, swinging your Mariner in and having your opponent kill your Mariner very easily. And then, you know, like your Mariner can give like your scavenger elusive and stuff like that. So that's, that's kind of what we're doing. Um, with this, we have uh, six Ionia cards. We are splashing for Zed and for Deny. So that's what that's what I'm splashing for. Uh, besides that, I wanted some other good creatures that would be good to give elusive to. We got Chempunk Pickpocket. I feel like this would be a great one if we're you know if we have like some Sumpworks maps. Um, giving this thing elusive would be really nice. Obviously Zed, um, you know, an elusive Zed seems pretty awesome. Uh, but then also Boom Crew Rookie gets get some good attacks in. Um, so, you know, like we have we have like kind of a, a good amount of like cheap stuff. Um, if it turns out we don't really need the Sumpworks maps, like we're playing against Control or something, we can rummage them away. Um, but then I also have the Rummage Chump Lump combo because that's, that's a really nice combo to dig deeper into the deck. <clears throat> and then we have some other top end cards to dig deeper into the deck. We have two Augmented Experimenters and two Progress Days. Help us dig. Um, besides that, we got Teemo at the top end, or like, sorry, Teemo as our other champion, because Teemo's really cool. Um, and that's our deck, fill in some removal. All right, so let's let's try out the PNZ Allegiance card, Intrepid Scavenger. All right, we need, we need our lab and our T-Hex. So yeah, we just played the Noxus. Uh, we played the Ionia Elusive and the Noxus Elusive. We got this one, or sorry, Allegiant. Up next, we're going to be doing Frel Yord after this. Okay, this is kind of our deck. Let's get rid of the Chump Wump for now. Even though I guess the Chump Wump does give us something that's easy to discard to get excited. Well, we'll just draw the Chump Wump right back. Get past me. I do think that aggro is going to be a really tough matchup for us. This is probably going to be pretty tough. We're not going to be really fast enough for aggro. So long, city of progress. I can learn from watching you. Ooh. Okay. That can change things. That can speed our deck up quite a bit. Uh, reporting in. Without a sound. No. One drop of the deck. Down to six. Ouch. 
So we have two options, you know, giving it to the Mariner or giving it to the Zed. Probably need to just give it to the Zed because we're probably going to have to just jump block with the Mariner. I didn't jump block last turn. I just kind of figured that wasn't really much difference in jump blocking last turn or the next turn. Oh, right. That thing doesn't get elusive. Yeah, you're all about the worthy surviving. We understand. We get it. Demo. All right, let's discard this Mariner to kill this thing. Have that block here, that block here, and this trade here. We take three. And hope we don't die. It would have been safer for me to, ha to jump in front of this and only be taking one. As far as, like, you know, like a might is concerned or something, or a discipline of fortitude. All right, GG's. Lost to Katarina. You can kind of see... Uh, hey, what's up, Yud? You can kind of see, like, what our deck can can do. Um, with this elusive stuff. So, got some cool synergy. But aggro is going to be our worst matchup. That's going to be pretty tough. Because I, I kind of have it, uh, with control being popular, I, I kind of added in some, some extra anti-control cards with like that augmented experimenter and the progress day and things like that. Like I'm trying to get some more card draw and the rummage. But uh, the deck that just outraces us and beats us down, I don't really have that great a defense. Could have mulliganed more. Like, I probably shouldn't have kept the two-mana 1-3, right? Like, that 1-3 didn't trade with anything. Maybe ship that away and look for, you know... I have Thermogenic Beams and Mystic Shots. No, not the aggro deck again. Alright, so... Get rid of these. Experimenter seems like a pretty good card to have at the top end. We can fill out the rest. If we can try to stabilize with the rest, then Experimenter can turn the corner. It's a little unfortunate getting paired against another aggro deck. Right away again, and they get the attack. Turn one. Two experimenters, like that's that's why I basically it's usually good just to play two exper experimenters and not play three, because you really don't want to ever have two in your hand, because once you play one, then you have to discard the other. So like, you can't empty your hand. I, yeah, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Region, but I guess you've had some opponents that just surrender at the beginning of the match. Um, you do get you get experience for your first, I don't know, five or ten losses, whatever it is. You still get XP for that, so maybe it's maybe it's somebody who's like who like doesn't have much time for during the day, and like they're just gonna have to. Like they just play and and just can, they're just they have time to like hop on and like concede five games but don't have time to play during 
like that specific day. I don't know. It's not broken. It just needs a little love. Sweet, they didn't block the 2-2. So Zed levels up. Killing them next turn. I mean, I guess I, I guess I can just kill him. Don't be calling no enforcers. So going down to three, I mystic shot this thing. I go to five. They're probably not going to be able to do five damage, right? All right, so I'm I'm going with like the risky line to to try to just kill them next turn, you know, use use vision to give both of these plus one plus zero. Some works map this thing, um, because then now that Zed's leveled up, the Living Shadow has its stats and keywords, so it has elusive also. Time for the money. Uh, no, they had vision. That's bad. That's me going to two. They can they can definitely do another one point with a spinning axe, but if they have anything to do another an extra point. Okay. Still alive. Still alive. Looks like we may steal this one, because they didn't block the 2-2. I can't keep I can't keep deny available. I have to cast the vision. Cause otherwise this is just twelve damage. Boom. That was pretty sweet. Look at that. Elusive Zed. Jeez. All right, we beat an aggro deck. That's pretty nice. <laughs> we cast a Noxus spell in our... To, to go towards our quest, we cast a Noxus spell in our uh, PNZ Ionia deck. That doesn't have Karma. I mean, Karma wouldn't help anyway. All right, Braum Vladimir. Could be nice. Um, yeah. Sure. Mariner, give the pickpocket elusive. That could be nice. No, I, I don't think that's a thing, Raygen. I don't think there's a, a third-party program that allows opponents to see your cards, and they see your cards and then instantly concede. I don't think that's a thing. Take from the rich, give to me. But... Um... takes one damage. It is easy, see? 
All right, come on, scavenger, hit. Let's go. Yeah. So we're gonna give this thing elusive, so it can attack, and then we can either do four with the scavenger or three with the pickpocket. We'll do three with the pickpocket, and so we get one of their spells. See, that's pretty cool. That's that's what the that's what our deck's trying to do. Their deck's trying to like you know do other things that are gonna kill me, but that's what our deck gets to do. It's pretty cool. All right, so I could double get excited and kill the Vlad right now, or let them attack. And just block, block, I won't go back. block, get excited, discard. Uh, let's see. So we're going to have seven mana. We discard this thing to kill that. And we discard... Discard this to kill that. Yeah, elusive pickpockets. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? All right, we got Brahm and Vladimir out of here. Presumably, they could have Elixir of Iron for, to keep Vladimir alive. Or Brittle Steel, either one. Like, Elixir Vine would not save Braum, but Brittle Steel would. If they just had one less trigger, you know, like that, they had just enough triggers to uh, level up the Vlad. If they had one less trigger and couldn't quite level up the Vlad, I was definitely going to just experiment her and, and try to kill it. Um. Fix me up with a new rabbit, will you? I just made you one. Advent, come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? You're going to need a map. You're going to need a map. Ocean call. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know very much about the, the friend matches, and I don't, I don't know if you can have, you know, if a friend from EU can play a friend from North America. I just, I don't know very much about those matches. About those. The rest will burn. Okay. So do we want to Thermogenic Beam Vladimir or Scar Mother Verena? I mean, I guess we have to do Vladimir and just hope they don't have something that keeps Vladimir alive. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Please don't. Otherwise, Vladimir is going to kill us. And that would be really bad. Our deck's not the best, but it's just pretty cool. You know, we got... I don't, we have limitations to our deck for sure. That's a cool little combo. We got one win. Boo. 
I don't think I can really survive this. Yeah, we're going to negative 16. I mean, even if I block that thing, that thing, that thing, this thing, we go to negative two. Yeah, there's, there's not a way to survive this. All right, one and two. I mean, I guess just, just try it out, yeah. Just try it out, Alex. I mean, just try, you know, see if you can, you know, just try it on in, in game. I, I don't know the answer to whether or not you can, you know, the cross servers and people could play each other. I just don't know. Yeah, if I had four mana, that'd be survivable. Yep, if I could play the, the, the double O3, you know, the Blood Sworn Pledge, if I could play that. All right, Karma Ezreal. Let's get rid of this. Boom Crew Rookie's pretty nice being a 1-4. Difficult to kill. And then we'll have Progress Day to refill our hand. Do I lead with turn one Teemo that's going to certainly die? Or... Yeah, I mean, we still do. I was like, or we could, like, wait. But no, we just play Teemo. Get him, Teemo. Whoa, Teemo got him. More mushrooms. Okay. We're doing it. We were doing it. I want to save Get Excited for Karma or Ez Ezreal, like if they play Karma or Ezreal. I want to have Get Excited for those. They're gonna, if I play Progress Day, are they gonna just gonna play Karma? Probably. Hopefully not. What you looking for? Cool. Got a lot of mana over there. I don't. Maybe I should just be. I should just be saving these to go upstairs. I should probably just be saving those to go upstairs. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Cool. So I attack out, they block here, block here, 
Take six, go to five. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'll just do that. It's too late for you. Cannot escape. Okay. Never mind, take three, go to eight. Everything trades. Have either deny or oh what am i doing i shouldn't do this i should just let them attack like they're definitely going to attack with ezreal right i just let them attack and then i some work smack my four three that's what i should do Should hopefully do us some good. They're digging. Room. Thank you, Timo. All right, they're down to one. One little life. Draw a mushroom. The world's a big place. Here, take some more mushrooms. Go ahead, have some more. You want to draw one? Come on, puff cap. Boom, puff cap. Timo. Let's go. That was a fun game. That was a really fun game. Hey, Ravoki. Puff caps. That was awesome. Yeah, that was a really satisfying win. I mean, that was just a, like, just every turn of that game. Like, that was just a pretty good, good back and forth game and everything. Boom Crew Rookie was awesome, for sure. It was probably the MVP of that game, but like the progress day was really good. We got him with, like they played, they played the Ezreal when I had two mana left, and we got him with the um, two mana get excited to kill the Ezreal. That was cool. Ash. No, Rage, and it's difficult to level up in this game. Just because you can't get past Silver 3 doesn't... Like, it's, it's not easy. Yeah, just keep at it. Keep keep learning and everything. This is not an easy game. You don't get, like, free wins ever. It's, it's a tough one. Um, Probably need to kill that. Probably need to kill that. No, I just wasted my mana.
Hope they don't play Ash. Really hope they don't play Ash. All right, well that changed my plan, of course. Now we're, you know, we're gonna be able to thermogen beam this three two. I don't know if it changed my plan that much, but get that three two out of there. So even if they do Ash, they can't just challenge her and kill my Zed. Oh no! Oh no! Well then, Black Spear. That was not a card I was expecting. I just got rid of my Sumpworks map also. Will no one listen? I am the blade in the darkness. Well, we'll try it again. Uh, just on top draw. It's burst speed, so it's cool. Save that two mana anyway. The frostbite cards, like harsh winds and stuff like that, are burst speed also. Deny is not doing a lot for us, but if they have Shadow Isles cards like Black Spear and things like that, we can counter those. So I probably want to keep my Deny open, so I don't think I'm going to play Chump Lump. We could play Boom Crew Rookie. But I probably need to worry about... Time to go! I don't know. We'll see. I guess. I mean, they can't play Black Spear right now, anyway. They're out there. I'll spot them. Maybe I do just play Chump Lump. So I do kind of want to give them ten. Uh, ten puff caps. I kind of want to give. You know, if I spend six mana on the Chump Lump, I give them ten puff caps. It's so tempting to do that. Faster than my arrow? I think not. There's five puff caps. There's five more. Go and draw some. It would be awesome if you draw some. Hey, they, they drew some. Made it kind of gruesome for them. Take ten. Wait, yeah, let's take ten. Of course I'm ready. Hmm. I don't have to worry about, like, I would love for them to play Ruination, because I have Deny, so I don't have to worry about that, if, if that's, like, something they're kind of planning on. No! I don't like that, though. Nothing stops adventure. Just gonna put this here. Anything. Avarosa, guide me. Oh, 
Certainly wish we could play both thermogenic beams. You know, definitely wish these thermogenic beams were mystic shots or get excited. Anything like that. I mean, I guess I'm going to do nine damage to Ash here, I suppose. Because we need to. We know they have the the crystal arrow, so that's a good that's a good deny target for me next turn. One candle for every soul. Oh man, twenty seven cards. We have three. Um, get excited. So if I rummage away these two and try to draw get excited plus another card to discard to kill them, we would have three out of 27, so one out of nine. So one out of nine is an 11.1% 1 .1 chance. It's probably not a great chance. So instead, we will deny this and then thermogenic beam the ash. And hope they don't have another Ash. Continue without me. Oh, that's another Ash. And that's lethal. Dang. They kept on having exactly what they needed. We were so close. All right, but that was fun. You know, we went two and three. We were we were definitely competitive with our Sump Snipes. Like, Sump Snipes Scavenger was awesome. Like, this card was definitely really good. Four mana, four three that makes the zero mana car you know, creates the, the new spell that costs zero that would usually cost two. This thing, this card was really good. The Intrepid Mariner, eh, maybe not so much, but um, the Scavenger definitely was really good. Um, but yeah, there we go. Had had fun. That was that was pretty cool. Um all right, so Enigma Soul confirmed it. So you can send friend re requests cross-server, like EU and North America, but the challenge option is grayed out when they're on your friend friends list. So you cannot challenge across servers, but you can chat. So you can chat cross-server, but not have matches. Gotcha. Good thing to good good to know. Good to know. Um. All right, but there we go. So that was Intrepid Scavenger. Um, Fun one to play. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave a comment if you think that there was any, like anything maybe that we should change here for uh, this, you know, PNZ Allegiance deck. Um, you know, feel free to leave a comment over there. All right, but that's it here for Intrepid Scavenger. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.